I'm gonna get high right now and Google some stuff and you're gonna watch it and hopefully learn things too, but I will forget everything I did. Welcome to Higher Learning. I don't know how to do this with another person. Hello and welcome to the stupid show that's stupid. Higher higher learning is what it's called. I'm really bad. I'm still really bad at these. And there's a person. The person right next to me is not only one of my best friends, but literally uh, married me. This was your day, but I talk about that to this day. As though it changed my life. It changed your life for sure, but it changed my life too, honestly. To be, to be a priest? Yeah, to be... <laughs> be a God-fearing priest. Lawrence to know. My taco brother, my life blood brother, my soul mate, sorry, or my wife and his future wife. Today, your learning partner. And today is another fun twist. I don't know the topic. I thought it would be fun to have the guest choose what they want to learn about and not tell me. So here's hoping it's a good one. I have two options, actually. I brought two okay, options. Okay, that's good. You want me to tell you now? I would love, I would love you. <laughs> the history of dog breeding. Very interesting. The second option, uh, time changes, time zones, and more specifically, the history of uh, daylight savings time. Those are my two options for you. That's, those are such good options. Thank you. Kind of want to do dogs. I want to do dogs too. That's why I brought it up first, but I felt like I should have a second option in case you're like, nah. That's smart because I could have been like, nah. Yeah. We're going to learn about dog breeding. This is going to get gross, I think. And sad. What do you know about dog breeding? Their ancestors are from the wolf, which we... Well, I think first and foremost... <laughs> Dogs fuck. <I> think that's... <laughs> they do fuck. And then we gave them... We were nice to them. And then they were like, this rules. I think, I don't know this, but I believe that it was like a mutually beneficial relationship. Right. Mutually beneficial. And now they're we we f I feel like we fucked them. So like purebreds are more prone to diseases. Kind of like uh, ancestral cousins. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Before we get high, I will say that uh, once again the drug war. You know about the drug war, Lawrence? It's terrible. <laughs> no, I know a little bit about yeah, the drug. Yeah. No good. We don't really because we're white. But it was created to put people of color in jail. So if you could donate to the links below. That would be wonderful. The first step, I think, of tearing, tearing down systemic racism is ending the drug war. So let's do that. And speaking of drugs warring with our bodies, let's go get high. That's the one, baby. We're not even fucking high yet. And we're high. Good day. It's a good I've day. I've my, head, my headphones. Oh, no. <laughs> Have you done God on here yet? You haven't done God. No, that's, you know, he comes up a lot, honestly. I'd say in general, more and more, I'm agnostic. We don't know how much we don't know, period. Exclamation point, however, however else you end a sentence. And that's why mermaids are real. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know why this was my first. Ariel. <laughs> Is this funny? What are we doing? Dogs are bre they breed. A large body of research suggests that dogs were domesticated between 12,500 and 15,000 years ago. That's a long fucking time. I forgot what I did like three hours ago. We're only gonna live tops like 100 <laughs> years. That is incredibly generous. How many dogs ago is that? You know what I mean? Like if, if my <laughs> great, 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 great. The sentence, how many dogs ago is that? Is like <laughs> one of the funniest things I've ever heard. Uh, okay, well how many dogs live, they live about 15 to 20 years. Average lifespan of dog. <laughs> I was overshooting that dude, damn got sad sad that's a lot of dogs ago okay so that's that's Dude, that's uh, how many? 15 10 10 so 10 th we'll, we'll be generous we'll say we'll say we'll say 13 for the dogs living or for how average lifespan of a dog. okay 14 14 years within one year how many dogs no 13 13 it's everything <laughs> oh jesus Here, christ 10 no what would we say 14 the dog's not gonna have a baby when it's 14. So yeah but they still die when we're saying when they for die. sure for sure but i'm talking like generations 
You see what I'm saying? No. I don't know if I can figure this out. So it's <laughs> 1,500 dogs ago? That's what we want. That's what we want. 15,000 years ago. Okay, so it's so it 15, generations. It's 1,500 dogs. generations of dogs. I guess, well, how many generations are, have there been of humans? But that's probably it's, calculable, right? That's a good tangent. Between the dawn of civilization and now, there have just been 400 generations. Human civilization began about 10,000 years ago. So dogs were around before, before humans and domesticated by, before humans. By, by what? The Neanderthals? By monkeys? Were dogs? Yeah, what is this the mean? The pets of Neanderthals? Were they being, I think so, honestly. Like, there's that movie about the caveman and, his do and, there's, and the dog. Alpha! Alpha. 20,000 years ago. I think that's the guy from Station Eleven. It's a good show. Heard that's good. Oh, I, I would like to watch. It's a limited series. Aren't we all just limited series? Dude. That's how it happened. I Dude, believe that's that. probably how it happened. Cause, cause here's the thing, it had to have happened. This had to like, there's Once. no way something like. Yeah, there was like, a first time. Like right? there was a first had there was a first fucking time. Are we alpha heads? Yeah. Archaeological evidence existed of this ancient dog, but the study was the first to show, quote, living evidence of these dogs in modern breeds, including the proven hairless dog and the. Would you care to? Yeah, I, uh, I know exactly. Would how you care to? This. Well, listen, you're a smart guy. You're a word guy. Yeah. Holy Here shit. Mexican hairless. Honestly, <laughs> it is a beautiful dog. So this dog <laughs> has DNA this? from the first dog. So wolves used to look like this? What is the closest dog breed to a wolf? I was pausing so much because I was just going to like. You're going to tell me. I was like, I know this. And yeah. then I was like, I don't know this. What is the closest planet to the sun? What it's, is the closest? What is the closest planet to the sun? What is Saturn? That, that's the only no, one I Saturn. know. What's Saturn's the first? Not the first. What's the first? It's like Mercury. Mercury. Venus. No. Shit. Don't have babies? Is that what you're saying? No. I would never say that. Not she should go to jail. Yes. Not she should go to jail. We should understand the history, but we should never repeat it, and it should not be a common occurrence. What, no, we, we wanted, what's the closest dog to a wolf? Uh, okay, a Saluki. Oh, gorgeous dog. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Look at this boy and girl and them. I kind of want a Saluki. Dude. This dog is only legs. So who's, what actress is this? Like Nicole Kidman? The Pekingese is very similar to the Shih Tzu in that it may not look similar to a wolf, but the DNA proves otherwise. Over the years, their genetics have changed little from their original ancestors. So that means there was like another kind of wolf. Yeah, yeah. That looked more like yeah. like this thing's out there hunting, doing doing hunting something. This is a hunting. muppet. That one's <laughs> named Wasabi. Wow, you won though. You won the dog show. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen an image that's given me more joy than in this moment. Have you ever seen a Dark Crystal? There it is. It's Fizz Gig and Wasabi. Chow Chow. I had a Chow Chow. You had a Chow Chow too. So you know, underneath all the fur of a Chow, That's I can see that it's like a normal dog. <laughs> I wonder what breed exists now that was like, no. Like no wolf even looked remotely like that dog. That's what we want to know. What dog have we fucked over? Oh my God, come on. Bulldogs okay. are a case study and what happens when we love to a breed of a dog too much. English bulldogs became, this is gonna be so sad, became popular because of their smooshy faces and squat bodies. So we- We been bred. So we been bred them to be squattier and mushier, resulting no, in a no. breed with a myriad of health problems. Immediately I'm like, yeah. I call into question the validity yeah. of any of what I'm reading yeah. now. It's hard. Uh, the next part is the worst, dude. They usually can't mate our birth naturally and they're, <laughs> keep going that's a hell of a thing to just say yeah, yeah. they usually can't mate or give birth that, so the majority of these dogs can't procreate themselves and their average life is only 8.2 years it's particularly sad yes thank you article for letting me know because they're such friendly boys <laughs> they're such friendly boys paul that's the hard-hitting science i'm i'm looking to read about that is super sad they die quick they die really quick and they can't they don't even have a choice in whether or not they want to put their children through what they did No! 
<laughs> no. I can do. I. Can, I know we, we just we're, we're tapping into something that's the point of the show, and we're gonna get there. And it's really sad, but I can do a very good dog impression. I can also do a big dog. You said words there. Those were dog words.